Hey y'all, Monk Joseph here with the Broken Buddha, and we're gonna finish up the Sa Lung training for the Upward Moving Prana. This is gonna be your, um, there is an external, internal, and secret Sa Lung for uh, all five of the exercises. This is gonna be your inner Upward Moving Prana Sa Lung. All right, so you're gonna go just like before. The color, the color visualizations for this are in the religious, uh, the second video for uh, religious, um, practitioners and visualizations so all that's in there if you haven't seen that go back and watch that to get the colors and uh, and we'll just cover the the basic part the myofascial kinesiology western part here okay so you're gonna pull up into your throat just like you did before and have it open like we talked about so I'm talking like this because my throat's opened up as I want you guys to breathe like that and then you hold it like that and so you're gonna breathe there cover your mouth and nose and breathe out and I wouldn't say, don't breathe out as hard as you can the first time, kind of work up to it. Um, make sure you don't blow your eardrums. And um, if you need to talk to your doctor because you're worried about any brain health, putting that much blood pressure there, please do that. Um, all right, so you're gonna pull the, the blood and air up into your throat, and then you're gonna seal off your nose and mouth and push. And when you're pushing, you're not only gonna push that already open throat a little bit further to stretch the fascia, but your blood pressure filling your arteries and veins and uh, skin out here is gonna push this fascia. So you're actually pushing the internal throat chakra, uh, the internal fascia and the external fascia at the same time in different ways, technically speaking. At this point, I like to hold that for about 10 to 13 seconds, and then I will actually close, uh, close my throat and all my other lower gates and push all the blood as hard as I can to my brain it's a really wild sensation. Sometimes um, I've even gotten, it's, it feels and sounds like there's wind blowing on the top of my head. Um, so, and then I hold that for about 10 to 13 seconds. Um, open up my throat again and push a little more there. And then I breathe out. When you breathe out, breathe out. Don't, you wanna breathe out fully, but not fast and, and too hard because the pressure change. And you may hear your ear pop, it's totally normal. Mine used to pop a bunch. Um, right after you blow the air out and start breathing normally again, you might notice your ear popping. It doesn't do it anymore. And it's just repressurizing. Um, again, closing off the throat and pushing out to the head is something that I do specifically that is not part of traditional salong. But again, I'm trying to push all the blood up to my uh, brain and really, really push that fascia out. Cause I do a lot of stuff where I'm pulling it in, but I don't really ever push it out a lot. And then after I do that, I always go back to the first upward moving prana salong because you'll notice you're a little bit uh, foggy after you do the internal one, if you do it right and you only do it once. So you may have to go back. I always do the other one again, just to kind of get everything loose and moving again. All right, so I'm gonna demo it one time for you here real quick. Um, and cause I don't ever do it three times. It's just, I usually do the, the first one external, then the internal, then the external again. I always finish the original because they know what they're talking about and I'm not gonna try to improve it. All right, so I'm in a chair this time, but you'll pretend you're sitting with your legs crossed or in a chair, whatever, just sit comfortably. And you've already done your nine breathings of purification and your first upper movie prana. And you're gonna go just like this. Okay, and that first out breath I did was actually a little bit too hard and fast. So try to go slower than that. And you'll notice the discomfort if you go too hard and fast. Like I said, you wanna get the full breath out, but not too fast and hard. And then the second and third, you can do more pushing out, um, both on the fascia and through the sinus cavity uh, with pressurized breathing. All right, so that covers uh, the, uh, the Western upward moving prana, the uh, religious, upward moving prana and then this is the inner so when I do mine if you're following the five yogas core series uh, for this particular one I do the religious version this inner version the religious version and then I move on all right so enjoy I hope this helps you in your health and physiological needs and uh, thanks for stopping by if you have any questions leave them in the comments section don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time